What's up design family and welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. On today's episode, we'll be running you guys through a Procreate sportswear design tutorial. I'll be taking you through the app step by step, showing you how I lay out my boards and how I sketch out the apparel mockups. I hope you guys are ready. This is going to be a really informative video. Welcome to Fit Design TV. On this channel, we'll explore what it takes to make it as an activewear fashion brand, whilst providing tips, tricks, and actionable steps towards starting your own product line. Whether you're an entrepreneur looking to start your own brand or just someone interested in fitness fashion, there's something for you here. What is up guys? Today we'll be taking you through a basic Procreate tutorial. I'll be looking at how to draw a basic hoodie from a base that we can find on the internet. Go online, www.fitdesign.com. You can grab one of our bases and open up Procreate, create a custom canvas around 2000 pixels by 3000 pixels, just to give yourself a good enough size, rotate it accordingly and insert your file. Go into your camera roll, put in your image, and we recommend cropping out the excess padding on the sides. You can do that just by pushing your image up and outside of the borders and then cropping and then down and outside of the borders and cropping exactly to what you need. And then add your drawing guide, add a symmetry line, arrange it so that it's vertical so that you have left and right, and then position your mock-up right in the center. You wanna add your mock-up, give it a little bit of opacity just so that you can see it and then add your drawing assist. So on Procreate, your drawing assist is gonna let you do a variety of things. In this case, we're gonna be using the drawing assist to create a symmetrical stroke with whatever we do. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go and sketch out the rough outlines of your mock-up using your base. And at this stage, you kinda of wanna know what your hoodie is gonna look like or just a basic idea of your hoodie. You wanna be using the monoline for the external lines and a thinner version of the monoline. We recommend pushing the streamline all the way up and draw out your main lines at this stage. So here we're going through and we're just adding the basic wrinkles just to kind of show where everything's at, where the elbow folds, where the waist is, uh, where the hood is, we're adding the cuffs, all again using different versions of the model line pen. We're adding a set in sleeve at this stage and that's because we want to create a garment with a bit more of a, a tactical look so the set in sleeve is the appropriate sleeve in this regard and we recommend checking out the set in sleeve versus raglan sleeve video that we've done to kind of explain to you the differences between both and where the best applications for both of those is now we're adding the internal lines or the kind of like the seam lines these are the lines that kind of create the internal look of the garment once you have the overall shape adding a kangaroo pouch with some basic stitching down the sides again using a solid brush the model line is our favorite when it comes to this it creates a very technical look to your drawings with procreate you can also start a line and then by pressing down with your other finger you'll be able to create a straight line and you're able to rotate that into degrees of 15. So you just seen how we added a semicircle again using the same thing, drawing our circle and then pressing down in order to lock in those dimensions. With Procreate, you can merge layers by pinching two layers together. So you've seen here how we got layer four and five with our thumb on layer four and our thumb on a, and the middle finger on layer five and just pinching them together to combine them. And that will basically combine the assets of both. On the left hand side, you'll see the toolbar that has all of the kind of stroke uh, properties with the stroke weight and the stroke opacity. So that's very important. That's something that you continuously have to play with, especially when creating technical drawings like this.
it's always important to remember to turn on your drawing assist. Your drawing assist is always going to refer to whatever drawing assist you have locked onto that specific layer. Drawing assist can range from being drawing guides so that they're just lines or the symmetry line so that you when you draw something on the other side you're able to automatically duplicate it onto the right side and that's very useful when drawing technical flats because it cuts down the work in half. You can also see here how we're using different layers to segment different details and basically be able to create depth in terms of the detailing that we have. We're adding some elastic drawstrings with some plastic stoppers and we've used the eraser brush as well to get rid of the lines below to create that depth. Once you're adding your details, you can go ahead and merge certain layers together. Remember, don't merge too soon because you never know when you might need that separation layer. So it's always important to know when to merge and when not to merge. At the same time, you don't want too many layers because you don't want your artboard to get too convoluted with the amounts of uh, layers and different assets you have segmented. You want to be able to group certain things together that make sense. Here we're adding some ribbing onto the side panels and the way to do that is just to add another layer and to use a thinner line, and add a bunch of lines and then obviously to go in and sketch them out. Since we have these rib lines on their own layer, we're able to turn down the opacity and give them a more faded look. Again, this is where the importance of having layers in Procreate comes into play, especially when creating fashion drawings or fashion flats. It'll really allow you to hone in on the look and feel of each layer and to kind of create a more depth look to whatever it is that you're drawing. Going in and adding some details, again, using the monoline brush with a 90 to 100% streamline makes your stroke look very, very clean and very consistent. It's very important with Procreate to make sure that you know what brushes you're using and what are the right applications. The model line is going to have a much more consistent profile throughout your strokes, whereas you can see the wrinkles that we've drawn are used drawing a technical pen, which can have a bit more of a taper at the start and the ends of these strokes. So it all depends on the aesthetic that you have. Get into the habit of naming your layers. Naming your layers again will allow you to quickly identify what each of those layers is without having to look into that small preview square and potentially get lost, especially when you have more layers. Naming your layers and making sure that you know what each layer is, is very important. It's gonna allow you to go through your drawing a lot more efficiently. You can see here again, we're using the opacity feature to add some texture lines onto the rib cuffs. This is always a great feature. You can either achieve this by adding opacity or by maybe changing your the color of your line or the color of your stroke using the red, using the color wheel at the top right corner. You can add a darker gray and use that as a way of creating some more texture as well. You can see on the left of the color circle is our layers and then on the left of that is the eraser tool. On the new iPads with the new Apple pencils, you can by default toggle on and off the eraser by double tapping on your pen. So that's always a tip and that's something that's going to really streamline your workflow. You can see here we're adding some Velcro straps onto the bottom sides of the garment. We've added a new layer for that. We've turned down the opacity of all of the other layers and that's gonna allow us to again, hone in on the straps that we're drawing to really focus. You can select multiple layers from within your palette by stroking from left to right on each layer and that will essentially put that selection into a queue and allow you to select multiple layers at the same time. You can also arrange the placement of your layers by long pressing on one layer and dragging it into the specific layer orientation that you need. You see here, we're now drawing the back mock-up. We've accessed the drawing guide and we've moved the plane of symmetry from the left for the front mock-up now to the right, directly into the middle. And it's important to take your time and position that drawing guide very 
well because if you have it skewed in any way, you're not going to be able to align your lines the way they need to be. I always like to start off most of the bases by just drawing in the core details, the outer seams, and any of these small nuanced lines that will create some folds just to give the mock-up a bit more character. It's very important with your mocks, even though they're flat, not to make them look too flat and to give them a bit of dimensionality. And you can do that with some basic lines that will add some great characteristics. Once you're done, draw in again the internal seams. Make sure to follow the design that you've sketched on the front mock. Any lines that go from front to back should be drawn as such. So you shouldn't have something that makes sense on the front, but when it comes time to the back view, your lines are not aligning properly. And this just takes a bit of time and experience, but we do recommend going through the motions and learning the kind of technical ways that your panels move from the front to the back and how they curve around your body. That could be one of the toughest things for beginners to hone down, but we highly recommend putting in the hours and trying it out. It's one of the key principles of fashion flats is making sure that your front and back mockups really do align and they make sense. It's always good to get into the habit of drawing your lines in Procreate, it makes it very, very easy to go back and forth and try out different strokes because Procreate has a very easy way of undoing strokes. Let's just say you draw a stroke, you can double tap with two fingers with your other hand on the screen to undo that and you can then triple, you can double tap with three fingers on the screen again to redo. So that's a quick way of trying out strokes and making sure that you're getting the right line without having to go in, draw and manually erase like you would on a pen and paper. Now what we're doing is we're adding the shade and shadow layers. With shade and shadow, you always have your highlights, your lowlights and your midtones. So that same idea carries through even when drawing out flats. What we're doing first is we're adding a solid base color and the way that you can do that on Procreate is by first drawing an outline that is completely enclosed and then dragging the circle all the way on the top into the enclosed shape and it will automatically become filled. So you don't have to go in and manually color in every last pixel yourself. So that really streamlines your workflow. You can also see here, we've done the same thing for the interior of the hoodie to create a bit of shade and shadow and that's just going to allow you to give a bit more depth to your design. The bottom of the scallop, we've drawn an outline on the scallop and then just filled it in with the color that we're going for. Here we're using a true black and we've toned down the opacity and that's just a way of allowing us to kind of work or tweak or really fine tune the amount of shadow that we have in that area without having to change the color. Again, just a reminder, always go through your layers, make sure you have everything organized. Organization when it comes to procreate and drawing fashion flats is key. It's gonna allow you to keep everything as streamlined as it needs to be. Again, remember, you wanna paint in a shape as fast as possible with the color that you're looking to paint draw the outline that is completely enclosed and then drag the color wheel circle into that shape and it will automatically fill in as you can see right here with the zipper that we're adding. You can also change the color of that shape by also simply dragging on the color wheel onto that shape that's already enclosed as you saw there with the orange and now the white that we have. So take a little bit of time to draw in all of your colors, all of your shapes, and really start to color block your design depending on the different colors or materials that you have in there and make sure that you're ready for the second stage, which is adding in the shadows and the highlights to really give your drawing dimensionality.
You see here, we selected the drawing guide or the drawing assist by pressing the wrench tool on the top left and then accessing the drawing guides. And that's where you'll be able to find a lot of the key tools that will allow you to control those drawing assists. And you can then toggle them on and off to each layer you want. For instance, sometimes you don't want the symmetry to be on. So you can create a layer within your artboard that doesn't have the symmetry drawing assist applied. And that just gives you, again, another layer of flexibility. So understanding your core tools in Procreate is very important. We do recommend taking the time to hop on those core tools and just understand what each one does. You see here the little white box on the right, checking that on and off will allow you to toggle on and off your layers to be able to see what that layer looks when it's on or when it's off and to be able to give you visibility underneath that layer if need be and just an overall better look at your design. On the layers palette, adding that plus will allow you to add a layer. And again, that's just one quick way of continuously adding layers to your Procreate file and just segmenting your drawing in a more organized way. Procreate works similar to how any app would work in terms of zooming in and zooming out with two fingers, pinch in to zoom and pinch out to zoom out. The N feature will allow you to control the blending modes and the opacity of your layer. So that's something that you may want to look at, especially when you start adding colors, looking at the different blending modes and the different opacities will allow you to have a different variety or very look to your drawing without much added effort. So here we're going through and doing the final touches of the drawing and just adding in any highlights or low light or shadows that may need to add that, di that dimensionality or combining different layers together. Again, using that pinch together feature that allows you to merge layers. So you can see here how easy it is once we have everything merged to change colors, just simply drag and drop a different color or a different hue and voila, you have a completely different color that you can use and that's an easy way to get out a variety of mockups that all have different colors for visualization tools or presentation. And we do recommend adding your logos in Procreate as well, it's very easy. Just tap on your gallery, add your logo. You can add it from your, from what it is. You can add it from your photo reel. And we do recommend using PNGs with transparent backgrounds. You can also use the blending modes on Procreate to take out your backgrounds. For instance, if you have a white logo on a black background, you can use a blending mode to remove that automatically, but it also does help if you have those blending modes or those logos with a transparent background preloaded that you can obviously do through the iPad or on your desktop. By swiping left on the layer, it gives you the option to either delete or duplicate, and that's one easy way to duplicate assets instead of having to reinsert them and then reorganize them in the same way just by swiping from right to left on your layer spouse on the specific layer you're able to duplicate so that's also something that you do want to take into mind and something that you'd like to practice again just a pro tip swiping from left to right will allow you to cumulatively select different layers and to basically be able to select multiple layers at the same time if you want to join them or whatever it is may be so that's been the basic tutorial, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, until next time, we just wanted to get into some basics, teach you how we go about setting up our artboards, setting up our symmetry lines, using existing bases to create new mockups, adding color, changing those colors by merging our layers together and then dragging different colors and hues, using opacity layers in order to kind of create some 
easy shade and shadow without having to change color or to change your hues too many times. And then looking at the core stream or the core strokes that we use, predominantly it's the technical pen for a lot of those folds that you see, and it's the monoline pen for the outer lines and some of the inner lines just with different strokes that are afforded to us, kind of using the toggles on the left-hand side of the screen that allow us to arrange the size of the stroke or the opacity of the stroke. We highly recommend you give it a go. Uh, we use a matte screen protector on the iPad. It just gives the feel of the pen a little bit more grit and it allows it to flow a lot more naturally as opposed to that plastic on glass field that is right out of the box with the iPad Pro. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that. Do leave us a comment below if you want to see more tutorials, what kinds of tutorials on Procreate. Maybe we'll go through a much more basic tutorial on each of the pen strokes and what they do and how they apply in fashion flats. Until next time, thank you so much for tuning in to Fit Design TV. This Procreate tutorial has been awesome. Thank you guys so much and stay awesome.